Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a uh, color grading of this picture using the fill blending method, which basically means using layers of fill layer. So layer, new fill layer. Change the color of this and blend it in. Let's just blend first. And we do that using the blend ranges here. And we use the right hand graph here. And when we pull this down, it becomes more and more transparent. So there, the blacks are not showing. And here, the whites are fully on. And it basically blends. So at this point here, for example, you've got a quarter of the colour, the overfill colour, which is white in this case, and three quarters of it being from the picture itself. So in other words, that three quarters are the darker areas you're not going to get much white in, whereas in the whites you're going to get more white in. So I can pull this up a bit here. Take, uncheck the linear here and let's do a bit of an S curve so it's a nice smooth transition. Here, we could keep that or we can put some colour in it. Let's do a kind of teal and orange. So the orange here, straight line for those three there. See, that's the colour we're using. And that then it adds that colour there. But we can also use blend modes. And look at the colours on here. You can see the all kinds of different effects you're going to get with this. And pick one or just stay with the original. So let's you go down here. There's a, a neat one you can get is the, with the divide. See, they get that harsh effect. So you want to make it that kind of thing like that. And we can change the opacity a bit to to figure out where to put it. We can also do masking with it as well if you want to localize the effect. So let's do another one. So layer, new fill layer. We'll do this for the shadows. So we're going to do dark teal. So for that we're going to go down here, straight line again. And let's make it a bit darker. So you make those straight and you get straight and you get teal. It's a very easy way to do it. And go to the blend ranges here and pull this one down and move it to the middle. So we've basically we've got the shadows on this side of the center and the highlights the other side. So they're not interacting. Though they can interact and it's not a problem. Uncheck the linear. Play with the curve on this to do this. Notice what you've got here is it's it's very it's fairly solid here, which you can keep that as, as a style, but you can so blend this in now by going to the blend here, and because it's already dark, so you're doing dark on dark, you can actually use a light and blend. So if I go down here to screen, you can see there you can see the hair. There you can't see the hair with screen, you can see it, but you still got that teal uh, blending on that. We'll just do one more layer. So we'll go layer, new fill layer. I'm going to use masking on this. We're going to use a teal on here, which is a straight line again, but which is lighter. Now, and I hit Control I to invert it. Then to paint it back, I need white. So I go to the paintbrush tool here, pick white. And you can see here, yeah, then I can bring this down here. I use a medium hardness brush on this, just give a softer edge on it. And let's go into this. So there's that on that eye there, and then this one there. And I'll do a blend mode there. You can try all sorts of things. Things like soft light can work, but a quite a cute one is color dodge. And then turn down the opacity and you get that sort of fairly startling effect. You can tidy up the edges there by painting black on it. So let's go from here, just pick black here. And just paint black over the top there. So it's not, the color's not bleeding. It's just within a useful range. So control zero out again. We've just got these three fill layers. So we had before and after, before and after. Quite a significant change, quite easily done. That's it and thank you very much for watching.